pretty casual, so yeah, I cool. mess up all the time. But <laughs> we are live now, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we're. I can pull it up. Make sure we actually are live. Cool. There we are. Oops. Got a little, uh, what's, do you have a, um, sorry, I'm trying to mute myself. Do you have like a, an Instagram or anything you want me to put on here? Um, yeah, you could put on, you can put my website, uh, mrharrylime.com. Can you say that again? Yeah, it's mrharrylime.com. Um, M R H A R Y. Yeah, H Y L I M E. Dot com. Yeah, and then my Instagram, it's just Harry Lime. Okay. Oops. Another text here is Instagram at Harry Lime, you said? Yeah. Okay. Cool. We'll just throw those on Ping's spot for the time being, because his is just the Skype symbol. So, anyways, what's up, guys? Uh, we are back again, as we will be all day long. Um, right now, we, we've got Shane McCormick all the way from Ireland, yes? Yep. Um, just outside of um, just outside Dublin, it's a little town called Bray and um, Wicklow, but it's about, it's about like twenty kilometers outside of Dublin. Okay, I think you might be our only artist from um, from Ireland. Ireland, maybe. I think, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, I never, <laughs> I never really interact with any other artists from here, so I presume I'm the only one, uh, which is cool. Um, yeah. Now, there used to be another artist from Ireland, and actually she got me into sketch cards, but she's living in Toronto now, uh, Veronica O'Connell. Uh, she okay. does a lot of work for, yeah, a lot of work for Marvel. She's done Star Wars, Walking Dead, you know. Um, she kind of got me into sketch cards, but now she's living in Toronto now the last kind of, God, six, seven years, still doing sketch mm. cards. Okay. So is that kind of how you found your way to Top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of indirectly through Veronica, you know, she, she herself and her then partner were working on um, sketch cards. And they kind of said to me, you know, I should. this was about 10 years ago. They said that I should get into them, you know, um, and they showed me the Copic markers, you know, and they said these markers are great, you know, so easy to use. And I was like, oh, OK. So I started just to kind of noodle away, do a few little pieces, you know, um, and I started I did kind of smaller sets first, you know, um, you know, like kind of 10 cards, some of the smaller companies and kind of kept building and building up that way. Um, and then Veronica, I think had already got into tops and she said, she got me then an email and she said, look, send off some of your samples to tops and see what happens, you know? So that kind of took a bit of, you know, effort kind of sending back and forth, whatever. And finally I got my first invite. My first invite was about 2015, I think, it was Journey to the Force Awakens, that's it. Um, so that's how, yeah, and ever since then, then I've just kind of got the invites and I've kind of accepted some. I kind of haven't accepted any in a while because I was working full time, you know, it was fairly full on. Um, and now with the whole kind of Corona thing, you know, and then actually it's not only just Corona, um, I'll actually be made redundant for my job. So that's yay. Um so it's just given me more time, obviously, to draw. So I'm kind of just throwing myself back into sketch cards now, you know. So I, my next set now will be the uh, holo, holo, Holocron. Um, yeah, so I'm obviously just waiting on blanks, and that's hopefully get back into it then, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I know that's coming out here soon. Um, the uh, I had Ping muted, and then I can't unmute him for some reason now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i can see him uh -huh. talking and now i can't hear him dang it uh we'll get that figured out um i'm gonna actually i'm gonna remove him and then i'll add him back 
So hopefully he answers and we can hear him now. So he was grabbing some headphones. Um, so you mentioned you're, you're looking at doing the Holocron set. Um, yeah, yeah. Can you, Ping, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear. Hey, oh, hey, there you are. Perfect. <laughs> um, so you said you're doing the Holocron set. Uh, what was yeah. the first set that you worked on? Uh, Journey to the Force Awakens. Okay. And I think it was 2015, thereabouts. That was uh, a long time ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then I've worked on Revenge of the Sith, uh, Galaxy Files, 40th anniversary, and Last Jedi. So okay. they would, yeah, yeah, um, and like I say, I took then a bit of a break, um, but hopefully now going to get back into the swing of things. So I've got this Star Wars set coming up. I'm doing, um, you know, the charity set for Marty. He does his Island Dreams, doing that. Um, what else? Yeah, and just, you know, kind of doing a little bit more illustration work as well, you know. Um, so I have in May, there's a Printed in Blood to do a book uh, kind of based on a movie team. So they have a book on Ghostbusters coming out in May. So I have a piece that's going to be in that. So that's really exciting. You know, really pleased with it. You know, that kind of, it's something a little bit different, you know. Um, and then they also have another brief out at the moment for Halloween. So hopefully I'll get something in on that as well, you know. Um, yeah, so busy, busy, you know. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, um, it, it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, and doing, so you're saying you're doing illustrations for a book, right? Is that what you said? Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just uh, one illustration. It's about 200 artists all respond to the team of Ghostbusters. And then they picked, you know, out of all the submissions, they picked about 200 artists. And um, so I was lucky enough to get picked. So that's been launched in May. Um, and it's just all different styles, all different artwork, but all responding to the team of Ghostbusters, you know. So that's going to be really exciting, you know. Yeah, yeah, that definitely sounds cool. Um, Ping, you can still hear us, right? Did you? Uh... Yeah. Do you have something you want to ask Shane? Um, I think I'm okay for now. Um, but no, it's cool to have a book because book is a much bigger reach than, say, cards. Like, cards is very niche. And it's, there's only a few yeah, yeah. handful of people. Whereas the Ghostbusters, the rest of the fandom, probably only a small proportion of them collect cards. But with a, with a book, you reach much, much further people, more people, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's just something else to be working on, you know, in between sets and whatever, you know. Um, like I say, I have the Halloween brief now at the moment, so I'll try and get something done for that, which would be great, like the original Halloween, so that'll be really good to get, get in included in that one. I think that book's going to be really big. Um, so, yeah, it's just another, like, I like to be busy, you know, um, and kind of try different things. Um, so hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so are you like a are you a full time artist or do you do something else and you just do art for fun or? I was just doing it in my spare time. I my prior to the kind of whole COVID shutdown and all that, I was actually a visual visual merchandiser in a store here in Ireland. So like you know visual merchandising. Um, just in case anybody doesn't uh, understand, it's basically just you know dressing mannequins. We did um, windows. It was a big department store here in Dublin. So uh, we did like all the windows, all the mannequins. We do sites throughout the store. So that was my my job there. You know, I originally was a sales, just a sales assistant. And then I got moved into the visual mer merchandising department. So but the actual company that I worked for, the store went into basically the store collapsed, you know. So we are all given our redundancy, you know, um, notice so that we were actually due to close the store at the end of April, but we were let go at the end of March because of COVID, we were sent home. And um, so I'm still kind of got one foot in there waiting for that to close. And then I'm officially, you know, unemployed, but at the moment I'm half unemployed. <laughs> and mm. so I'm just using, I'm just using this. It's a pair, it was a perfect timing, you know, cause we were all basically sent home March 25th. And I just, I was like, brilliant. I'm just going to go straight into drawing, you know? So I just started going, you know, nonstop drawing and kind of engaging, back into the sketch card so i was i was delighted people were you know i you know kind of sitting at home bored out of head and i was just like non-stop busy it's been great <laughs> <laughs> um and then this opportunity came up so i'm like yeah oh, this is cool you know so um but yeah so we we that will be that will be ending soon anyway and then i'm going to be officially unemployed and then i'm just going to see what what's next you know i mean i'd love to be full-time artist but you know yourself it's very difficult 
um, to make a full-time kind of career in it. But, you know, it's a great opportunity now because I think jobs are going to be tough enough, you know, um, to come by. So I'll just keep, you know, plugging away at this and see what happens, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, I know I was not overly familiar with your work, but I saw some of the stuff you had sent to me and then some of the stuff that you posted. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very, very impressed by what you do. Uh, Thank Rob you. Winchester saying hello. Cool to see you back in the game. Um, he said he hasn't seen any of your work in a while. I think uh, he just joined. So what you said you took a little hiatus. What was the last set you said you worked on before you're working on Holocron now? Uh, the last top set would have been The Last Jedi. That was 2017. So, yeah, kind of two years I've been out of it. Now, I've still, you know, always kind of, I did a lot of sets in 2015, 15, 17 i did the walking dead uh women of star trek um i think it might have been star i think the star trek set star trek uh 15th anniversary i think that might have been out the same year so i did a lot in 2017 and then i kind of just stopped and that's when kind of work got very kind of intense so i just you know i didn't really have a lot of time to kind of devote to it um but yeah the last top set would have been the last jedi um mm. you know and then, like yeah. I say, I've all, I've always just been noodling away at my own stuff, kind of just doing personal sketch cards, that kind of stuff, you know. Right, right. Yeah, Rob said he's got an awesome R2 by you. Um, so let cool, me go cool. ahead and um, let me go ahead and share my screen if I can figure this out quick. Um, there we are. Cool. So I don't know if you you can see that. Um, no, hold on. Uh, you might have to pull it up on Facebook to be able to see it, I guess. I'd pr or I could share it on Skype too. But um, I've got some of your your scans you had sent me pulled up, so hopefully we can get you on that. I'll have a look now. One sec. Oh yeah, there we are. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So this one it looks like uh, this is from 40th, right? The Obi Wan yeah, that is. Han Leia. Um, and, uh, I don't know if this R2 is, oh, he said R2 is from Galactic Files. Um, you're yeah, probably going to be on a little bit of a delay, um, but I'm going to scroll through. How many pictures did you send me? Oh, God. I, I, I think I sent them in groups of nine, so maybe five, six, was it? Maybe more? Oh, Not sure. <laughs> Just as you say nine, <laughs> I pull up one with, like, 25. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're probably going to be on a bit of a delay, but what set is this from? Um, when you get a chance to see it, I got, uh, Palpatine mall, um, three PO pulled up here. I'm not familiar with the cards. So look, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a delay. Hang on. Oh yeah. That is from the four, uh, 40th anniversary. Oh, hold on. No, sorry. That's from, uh, I'm looking at a list. Oh, is that Journey to the Force Awakens? God, it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I was gonna say I didn't. I, th I, I didn't think get it's into that set yeah, much. I think it's from Journey to the yeah, I think it's from Journey to Force Awakens. Okay, Ping, did you collect Journey to Force Awakens at all? Um, Journey, that was probably my first set which I really started collecting Star Wars. Um, I didn't really before the sequel trilogy, I didn't really know much about Star Wars cards. I think. That set and the 40th anniversary was where I kind of got into it. And then um, I kind of joined this group and, yeah, it kind of just got really huge from there. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that's where I started. So around, about, around the same time as you started, Shane. That's when I started. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. What I was, was going to say before, um, I know you said that you started off as a um, sales assistant, which, um, and then you just became visual manager after that um it's really yeah, it's yeah. really cool it's really cool that you it you know um you can start small and you can um it doesn't matter where you begin you can always yeah, follow yeah. your dream and your passion so that's really that's a cool story yeah and it was because basically they knew like i was into kind of you know art and drawing and you know anything anything you know artistic come up and work you know they'd always come to me and say hey can you do this so um I started helping out in the department and then, you know, the the boss at the time, she just said, look, there's a permanent job here if you want to stay. She really liked my work and my attention to detail and all that, which probably, you know, feeds into the art as well, you know. So it was great. Yeah. 
Um, I ended up doing a mural in work as well. They wanted, a, you know, a mural done in kind of the um, the uh, employees kind of canteen, you know, kind of near the canteen. So I ended up doing a mural on the wall, you know, stuff like that, you know. So, um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was good. It was good while it lasted. I was there like two and a half years. But the company just wasn't making money towards the end. So it just went <laughs> down the tubes, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm still looking at these cards that you've got here. I think the, yeah, yeah. Uh, the one, I don't know if Ping can see these, if he's got Facebook. Yeah, I don't, know where, I, I, don't, I, don't know where, I don't know where you're looking. Where are you looking? Uh, I'm looking at the screen. Um, do you, are you on the video? Or are you watching the video back? You'd probably be on a bit of a delay. I'm, I'm uh, just on Skype. I'm just looking at Skype. Oh, okay. Do you, can you pull up Facebook? Yeah, yeah. Where, where am I looking? Just go to the, the main the main page, and then you should see us live. And I've had this pulled up long enough that you probably will be able to see it without the delay. Um, uh, I'll tell you, the, right. the cards you that really off. jump out to me on this one, I think, are obviously I love Vader, um, but the Emperor's Royal Guard down in the bottom right, and the Maul oh, there bottom are. left. Oh yeah, but yeah, oh, there we are. Like three like PO. Um, 3PO and like the Vader down by uh, between Maul and the Death Star. Like, how did you? Yeah, yeah. How did you get? It looks like there's some sort of a shine on there. Like, how did you get that? Yeah, it's just I. I the material I use, I start a card with you know the uh, Copics Copics markers, you know, um, and then in, once I have it all kind of laid out roughly, I then go in with just you know color pencils, and then just kind of finish it and tighten it off then. So it's just all with shading and like I, what I try to do, like, you know, is when I'm given the reference, you know, I just try and copy it exactly. So sometimes I, you know, it comes out OK. Uh, other times, maybe not so successful. But those ones, yeah, it's just really to do with light and shade and just where you put your mark, you know, um, they they really please with those. Um, I really like the yeah, it's just, I, lo I love the Vader. Um, uh, top left um, I love the colouring that I achieved with that one like some cards you know I feel are more successful than the others but every card I do is just it's you know practice 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 and the more card like at this stage I've, must have, I've done thousands of cards you know in the kind of 10 years um, and every every time I sit down I just see it as a new way of learning you know new techniques new methods and it's just all practice 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 you know um, and then just even even seeing what other artists out, out there do is very inspiring, you know, just see how they handle the same subject matter, how they approach colour. Um, so I find that really um, inspiring as well and just really kind of spurs you on just to kind of produce great work, you know, um, or as good as work as you can, you know. Um, but, yeah, like I say, some cards, th those uh, those ones there now you have on the screen, mm -hmm. um, the C-3PO in the middle. That one then, sometimes I approach cards differently. To see 3 po I, I inked completely first. So um, I've got the, the Copics um, fine liner pens. So with that one, I just because there's such kind of hard um, reflections in C-3PO's, um, you know, body, I go in with ink first, just ink the whole thing up and then put the color on. And it's really effective. You know, I think it, it turns out really um, well, you know, mm -hmm. Um and I love the Peter Cushing there. I just think he looks so, <laughs> he looks, I don't know, he just looks ill. But I just, I love it. That was one of my, one of my favorite cards I've ever done. I don't know who, I don't know who has it. Um, I don't have any of my work, actually. I don't know, I don't know whether other artists hang on to, on, onto their best pieces. I get rid of everything. So yeah. um, there's some pieces, some pieces I would love to have kept, but um, I just kind of know. Really cool stuff here. Um, I, I just switched over to Galactic Files, and it looks like you're dabbling with the Clone Wars animated series. Um, I really oh, like yeah. the way that you do Maul. I think all your Mauls look fantastic. Yeah, I love drawing Maul. Like, um, I just, yeah, I just love drawing. And he's, I, and he's actually one of my favorite characters. You know, um, I remember I was in, I was, I was living in Vancouver when, when uh, Phantom Menace came out. We went to a midnight screening. You know, really excited. <laughs> uh, maybe not so a couple of hours later, but um, he was definitely just a standout character, you know, and I just love drawing. I, I, you know, um, he's great. Yeah. And, I'd, um, and actually, uh, yeah, the, the three top ones from the uh, animated uh, from Clone Wars, 
Um, mm-hmm. I really love, really like drawing them as well. Um, so hopefully I'll try and do a few, I might try and do a few Clone War pieces um, for sale over the next couple of days, you know. Um, I'll try and get in. Yeah, um, clone, that's the Clone Wars going on right now. That's that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're in the Revenge of the Sith. Some of them are more successful than the others. I really love the uh, Padme cards. Um, oh, yeah. Love drawing her. Yeah, love drawing her. Um, she's great. Um, some of the other ones maybe not so successful, but um, again, <laughs> you know. I don't know what you're talking about. I just I just did a zoom in that you'll see. Look really good, man. These look amazing. I'm looking at Vader and Palpatine. Um, Yoda, uh, I, I did a scroll, so you're probably on like a 30 second delay, so you'll catch yeah, up. Yeah, in a no. but Gen- Padme, Gen- Grievous. I mean, these Grievous are all Grievous is ridiculous. great. Yeah. The eyes of Grievous, though, that's so detailed. Yeah, I mean, look at, I mean, um, Palpatine here and and uh, Yoda and Dooku. I mean, this is this is some fantastic stuff. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm and crispy, uh, crispy, the crispy Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna kind of keep scrolling a little bit so I can I can capture as many pictures on here as possible. Um, but yeah, I mean some some really 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 good stuff. So I am glad to because I I feel like I'd heard your name before. Um, maybe I just saw one of your sketches hit eBay or something. Um, Could be, yeah. But uh, you know, I, I didn't know that you hadn't been around for a couple of years, so I'm glad to hear that you're back. Um, oh, here's some Last Jedi stuff. Uh, oh yeah, wow. yeah. Love the uh, you'll you'll see this one in a minute. The Leia looking at the um, the map. Oh um, yeah, yeah. That was one of my that was one of my favorites as well. That, uh, oh, that's I, nice. Um. Yeah, I mean some some really really nice stuff, Shane. So I'm glad to hear that you're back and that you're going to be thank you throwing thank you some good to be back there for us <laughs> to see. Um, but uh, yeah, we've kind of got to wrap this up a little bit here. We're going to get ready for the panel no that's starting in a couple minutes. Um, okay, okay. But uh, yeah, so you've got a booth right in the event. I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I should be putting some more stuff up there in the next couple of days. Okay, perfect. Now, do you take commissions as well? Yeah, yeah, I do indeed. I'm uh, open for commissions okay. loads of time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and the way, the way I always approach commissions is, you know, I have a set price at the moment. I usually charge about uh, $60 for a standard color sketch card. But like if somebody comes to me and goes, OK, I'm interested in two sketch cards, you know, maybe two standard sketch cards. I'm mm-hmm. always happy to do it, you know, do a deal, you know, um, I, you know, like I'm fairly flexible that way. Um, so if anybody's interested, just, you know, contact me, you know, what do you have in mind? You know, somebody might say, well, look, I want something a little bit bigger, you know, and I, I'm always happy to accommodate and just kind of, and it's all the way I always approach commissions is nobody needs to pay up front. It's, you know, once they see the artwork, if they're really happy, brilliant, they can pay. If they're not happy for whatever reason, it's fine. You know, I, I'll, I'll move it on somewhere. So again, yeah. I just always want cuscus, you know, I, I always feel like it's, when a customer approaches, you know, an artist and they want, you know, to commission something like that's that's a great honor for me that somebody likes my art that work and wants to commission me. So mm-hmm. I just, you know, I'm really appreciative of it and I just try to, you know, do the best job possible and just make sure that they're really happy, you know, um, so that both of us kind of come away really that I produce something I'm really happy with and they get a piece of artwork that they're really happy with, you know. So like I say, yeah. if anybody wants to just drop me a message, just even have a chat, it's no bother, you know, I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, so is that the is it? What's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, Facebook uh, message or Instagram Facebook or if you want, website? yeah. Or if if you want to go to the website, there's my email address is on there. There's a contact form on there. If the you know can't find me on Facebook or just you know direct message me on Facebook, that's no problem. You know, um, yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, awesome. Well, hey guys, uh, as you could see as we were scrolling through the the scans that he had sent us, um, Shane does some phenomenal work. He's been away from star wars for a little bit so we're happy to have him back and um he's got a booth in the event again with the event make sure to scroll all the way to the bottom so you can see all the artists um you purchase anything from shane you're going to be entered in one of the giveaways at the end 
um, from lots of different prizes to pick from. So anything you get from Shane commission, um, you know, then, uh, you know, you'll be entered for that. So definitely, definitely shoot him a message. And, um, did you guys have anything else you wanted to add before we, uh, we hang up here? No, no, all good. And, uh, thanks for organizing the whole event, you guys. You know, it's been um, great. I think even after COVID goes, we should do it again. <laughs> it's just a great way of people, you know, in different countries and, you know, mm-hmm. from the UK, uh, myself, and then, you know, you guys. I think it's a great way just everybody coming together and just, you know, supporting each other. So, yeah, well done. Yeah, I was going to say, we got three continents on here yeah. we got north we got north america we got europe and we got australia so that's pretty yeah pretty cool, neat cool. yeah so, that's great but all right cool well hey guys um we're gonna be on here in a couple that's minutes. Well, that's right. okay what cool. that? what'd you say ping thanks for joining us yeah oh no yeah worries. thanks thanks for having me really appreciate it um Raymond, p- people are asking uh, if you've got any APs left. I think you said you move on for most of it, but um, yeah. you guys definitely uh, definitely just shoot him a message, and I'm, I'm sure he'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll be back in, in less than five minutes with the panel. That's going to be taking cool. place over the course of the next hour, so hopefully you guys can join us for that, and um, we'll see you all soon. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Thanks again. Enjoy the weekend. Yeah.